What's up guys, welcome back to my channel. If you don't know me, my name is Flo, I'm a certified personal trainer. My mission on here is basically to help you lose the weight and get the dream body. Recently, I've been getting a lot of messages from you guys saying, okay, so it's cool, now I have a strategy. The problem is I kind of hit like this weight plateau. I cannot seem to be losing the weight. It's so frustrating. What do I do? So today, let's talk about how to overcome weight loss plateaus. And before you comment me wondering why the heck do I get to give you weight loss advice, this is me in 2019. I was overweight and I lost 35 pounds in about 180 days and kept it up. Well, kind of until this fall when I was a waitress again and food was available everywhere and I kind of gained a few pounds and started to show. So I decided to go on another cut and to actually see how lean I can get um, in the same amount of time doing the exact same strategy I'm sharing with you and doing with my clients. So it's all good fun. But yeah, point is I know how to lose weight. Anyways, let's get into weight plateaus. Let's talk about how to get through a weight plateau to finally lose the weight. Um, as I mentioned, some of you were telling me that you felt like you were doing everything right and yet you hadn't lost a single pound in like a few weeks. Uh, so let's talk about what's going on and how to finally lose the weight. The first thing is I absolutely had to talk about the science behind fat loss. I love science. So let me tell you exactly what happened when you try to lose weight, specifically when you try to lose fat. So when you're in a deficit for a little while, the body needs to tap into the stored energy reserve um, since it can't really get the, the energy. Thank you, the plane. Since it can't actually get the energy with the food because you're not eating enough of it, right? So it gets into the fat cells for that energy. Um, and also in the muscles, if you get like into too big a deficit, which is why you'll end up skinny fat and you'll lose your lean body mass. If you have too much of a deficit, it's going to also get the protein uh, in the muscle as a source of energy. Okay, so the fat cells get temporarily filled up with water, as you can see on this image. That is not mine, by the way. I found it online uh, on Instagram once and I was like, this is genius. I need to like keep that one for whenever it happens to me and I need that little encouragement I would say so this is when the weight plateau actually happens because it gets filled up with water uh, because you know the body doesn't really like change so kind of does its thing so despite actually losing fat the water retention creates that maintenance in 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 weight or even that weight gain um that really isn't one you know it's really not true natural part of the body's response to the fat loss uh, so as the body adjusts to the reduced fat it will empty the cells um, of water for them to shrink in size that means that they the fat cells that you have in your body just shrink they don't disappear. They're, they're still here, okay? Uh, but this is what will lead to visible weight loss and changes in body composition. Right, so are you really doing it right? I really, I don't want you to get mad, but I really wanted to talk about one reason that you may actually not be losing the weight is because you're not actually in a deficit. Uh, it's, it's as simple as that most times and just people... Uh, underestimate how much food they're eating um, or how much calories they're spending because you know the watches and everything like the treadmill and and your phone's counter sometimes doesn't count it right and it's normal for it to be off so it's and your body's not a machine so sometimes you may think you're in a deficit but you're just overlooking a few stuff uh, so it's really time to be honest with yourself and why we're wow weight plateaus are normal if you're not actually in a deficit then you need to reassess your approach uh, and really evaluate lo your diet so are you eating in the proper deficit because again if you eat way too little food your body's just going to go into survival mode and that means that it will hold on to the fat and just like lower your metabolism so you spend less and less calories at rest um so again if you're not in the proper deficit that's that could be a reason as well are you eating enough protein? Because if the if you're not eating enough protein, the body um will like kind of use less of the fat and more of the protein to have energy. Um so if you're eating enough protein, that means that the body would use the fat for energy and not your muscles, um, which we want. Uh, are you also accurately tracking your daily intake? Are you also counting that tablespoon plus of all that you use for cooking? This one matters like a lot because um, I think it's like 120, 120 calories per like tablespoon ish. Um, I really am I say, I'm not sure. I need to check that out. But I think because 
I'm not sure, but it could be. Um, so yeah, if you use one tablespoon and you don't actually count it, that could be so much calories that would actually create the surplus. Um, so yeah, you want to be really honest. Uh, if you're not losing weight, sometimes it's slippery because you're not in the deficit. Right, let's understand weight plateaus because let's say that you are indeed in a deficit but still hitting a plateau. Let's talk about like other potential reasons as to why you may not be losing the weight. The first thing is water retention. We already kind of talked about that. Um, another thing is changes in muscle mass or body recomposition. So that may be happening. This means that while you are losing the fat, you're also building muscle at the same time, especially if you're eating enough protein, if you go to the gym and you lift weight, and if you're a beginner because you're lucky. Uh, and this is why I actually prefer using smart scales that are kind of like available at some gyms. My gym has one. Uh, so it actually tells you your body fat percentage as well. That way you see what's going on in your body. You will see um, if you're actually losing body fat and at the same time getting um, muscle mass. Because it, if it happens, like since I'm not going to get into like the, you know, fat is like less dense, that protein, that, that <laughs> fat, like the fat in the body is less dense than the, um, what's the word, than the muscle. So, you know, it's like, I'm not going to get into that, but you will like, you may have noticed actually that your clothes are getting a bit loose. Um, and, and, you know, it feels less tight and so on. So, but yeah, if still no changes are happening on the scale at the weight level, that's normal. You're just changing your body composition. That's actually great. Like this is something I would wish for you because if you're actually getting more defined and losing fat and building muscle, you will keep a high maintenance level which means that basically your body's metabolism is going to be still quite high so once you're done with the fat loss you will need more like you will need quite a bit of food to to maintain it and that's 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 what we want um okay hormones can play a huge role like in the fluctuation and the plateaus as well especially for women when i'm about to get on my period and for a solid like six days after that i i put on about one kilo um, it's mostly water, right? So I can, I can see it on the scale and I can see it like in the mirror as well. Um, so yeah, it's normal, especially for women to actually have that type of fluctuation and it highly influences like your weight and plateaus that you may hit could be because of that. Right. Last thing is a lower metabolism. If you've lost weight already, but you don't keep on adjusting your maintenance based on your new body, then again, you may not be in a deficit anymore, but that's because you've lost weight and you just didn't adjust. So the only thing you need to do really is adjust, right? Uh, calculate your maintenance for your new body and then attempt to fifteen percent deficit again. But another reason is if you have been in a deficit, right, but for way too long, your body get used to it and kind of gets tired of it. So it's going to lower your metabolism and be like, yeah, I, I kind of know what you're doing here. I'm done with that. Um, so again, we'll talk about what to do, but it could be another reason as to why you're not losing weight. So how do you get over the plateau? Um, so let's say that you are in a deficit, but the plateau is still happening. You can see, so this is from last month. This is from November. This is what happened to me. I got stuck at a plateau for quite a while before finally like going down. So I was stuck at 67, 67.124. Um, and now I'm at 65.8, I think. It was this morning and I can't remember. I think it was eight. Um, so yeah, I kind of like I lost quite a bit after that. Uh, and we are the like eighth. We are the eighth. Um, so yeah, it's it was like I was stuck from the, I don't know, about the 10th to the 22nd. I would say I was stuck at that like plateau. Uh, but here's exactly what I did to finally lose the weight. I stick to the fucking plan. Like it's as easy as that. If you know you're in a deficit, which I know because I track my food, I know my maintenance, I know that I work out a lot. I know that I'm in a deficit, right? So I know that I'm doing all the right things. So I don't change the plan. This is the like, if you do change the plan, this is the best recipe for a disaster. I know what's going on in my body. I know the science behind it. So basically point is, I didn't try to lower my intake. I didn't try to do more cardio because again, if I do that, I'm going to be hungry. I'm going to be tired. I'm going to binge. I'm going to be burnt out. I'm just going to stop doing that. 
um, and then you know the weight will come back up again. But you know, I know I'm not being in too big of a deficit, so my body won't lose like the muscles. I just I don't want that. I didn't want to change the plan. I stick to my plan. So one last time, if you know you're doing the right thing, if you're one of my clients, we are doing the right thing. Stick to the plan. Now, let's talk about what to do if it wasn't a plateau, but you're not losing the weight. First of all, readjust your intake. We calculate your daily needs. I have an entire training on how to lose the weight. So I highly recommend you check that out because as you lose the weight, your body will require less calories to actually maintain it and keep it alive. This is totally normal. It happens for me. It happens for everyone. But you want to make sure that you are in that 10 to 15% deficit, which if you have not been recalculating your your intake, I would say every three weeks, every month, it's not going to change that much in less time. Um, but yeah, you want to make sure that you are in that deficit still. Right. Another thing is adjust your macros, especially the amount of protein you're getting uh, to optimize your body's response to the deficit. So 1.2 to 1.6 grams of protein per kilo of body weight is optimal and the way to go. And I've seen amazing results right now. I'm, I think I'm mostly at 1.6. Um, it's fairly easy to to get that number, to be fair. Another thing is change your workout routine, especially if you've not been lifting weights yet. You got to start like you got to get that started because this is absolutely amazing. Uh, Again, I have a training on how to get your proper, um, how to create your workout plan. So this is definitely something you should um, start now. Uh, And if you know you haven't been like some of my of my of the people who actually come into my gym are like, well, I haven't been losing weight, but I also know that I haven't been doing much cardio. So that could be that, like, I don't really have my steps in. I don't, I'm not really doing a lot of cardio. So, you know, if you haven't been act active enough lately, you want to try to incorporate some steps or some cardio to lead your daily routine, just to make sure you are actually in that deficit. Don't overdo it, obviously. Uh, but that could be a thing. And the last thing is, um, well, for this page, actually, I have more. The last thing is stress manage, manage, management, management. Um, I need to make a whole video about that because truly it's so key. But elevated stress levels basically will impact your weight loss journey. So you want to learn to manage it, whether it's uh, therapy, journaling, going for walks, listening to music, talking to a friend, whatever it may be, you want to learn to, to manage that sleep enough again i need to make a video on that but it can affect your metabolism and the whole weight loss process i keep talking about it on my page but what do you do when you don't sleep enough not only are you in a bad mood you are also more likely to skip your workout because you're too tired you're more likely to go for the highly processed high sugar like food because your body needs energy where does it like where is it going to find it food so you know it's gonna hinder your your progress in here um and also like let's let's change um new thing if you have been in deficit for a while and your metabolism took a hit like you know when i was saying that maybe your metabolism was really really low and your body was just like i'm tired of being in deficit like that means that you need to get back to maintenance i know it can be scary maybe like depending on how far away from your maintenance you were you don't really want to like overdo it and go from eating i don't know 20 hundred like 20 hundreds 1200 sorry don't do that by the way to to eating like um i don't know 1900s because that might like you want to go in steps um but yeah if you haven't lost the weight you you kind of want to do it by steps and and take some time to rest i know it's annoying but you want to take some time to rest take some time to recover keep on working out uh, just like, especially like maybe stop the cardio and do some weight training because that's going to boost your metabolism. That's what we want. Uh, but yeah, I know it's annoying, but if it's because you've been in a diet, my, the longest I want, I would suggest to be on a diet is like 12 weeks. Uh, and then you want to do that. Um, what's the word? Not body recount, but, but basically, um, reverse dieting I'm tired today. Damn. So yeah. Um, another thing, stay consistent and track your progress. Maybe you want to use different metrics. Um, maybe you want to use body fat percentage as a way to track your progress. Maybe you want to use photos. Maybe you want to use body measurements or, you know, your clothes. 
Uh, but anything beyond the scale can actually be quite helpful in saying like in tracking your progress and staying consistent even if you don't lose weight you'll be like oh but i've lost fat or oh but my clothes fit better oh but i'm actually like running faster but i'm lifting heavier but i have more energy i feel better you know all of these beyond the scale are actually really appropriate way of tracking your progress and how we're doing on that journey and the last thing, this one's for real, the last thing, seek professional guidance. If you've been stuck for a while, if you don't know what you're doing, if you're not sure, uh, you may need to consult with like a personal trainer or a nutritionist uh, to help you like getting personalized advice and guidance and, you know, tailored to your needs and actually have someone who knows what they're doing when it comes to weight loss, who's done it and so on and so forth. Right, so there you have it. Basically, this is the process on how to deal with weight plateaus and finally lose the weight in 2024. Uh, I really hope it was helpful. But if losing 35 plus pounds of fat in less than six months without starving yourself, without like giving up on your favorite food, without spending hours on the treadmill, and most importantly, without gaining it all back after the process is over, is something that interests you, then I invite you to book a call with me. It's going to be the first link below. I'm so excited for that opportunity. Um, but we'll see you. We'll see if you're the right fit. We'll just talk about your goals, talk about your needs. And you know, I don't work with everybody, so I really need to make sure that I, I actually can help you, right? And then we'll get you started. And if it doesn't work, I will refund you in full. This is how freaking confident I am. This is how confident I am that my strategy works. That's it for today. If you have any questions, feel free to drop them in the comments. You know that I absolutely love answering them and I love chatting with you guys. If you like this video, make sure to support the channel, you know, like, share, subscribe, comment. And of course, book a call with me if you're ready to finally lose the weight and get your dream body and your health back in 2024. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video. It was all good fun to write it and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.